So we have two spinners. Spinner 1 has 3 outcomes and spinner 2 has 7. So we're looking for the total amount of outcomes. So if we start writing down the outcomes, it might become obvious how many there will be. So I'm going to start with A and a 1. Then I'm going to stick with A and go for 2. So A2 and then A3. And you can quickly see that there's going to be 7 of those. So 7 outcomes with A. And I'll do the same with B. And again, you can see that there's going to be 7 outcomes with B. And we do the same with C. And there's going to be 7 of those. C4, 5, C6 and C7. So all together, there are 7 with A, 7 with B and 7 with C. So if we've got three outcomes on spinner 1 and seven outcomes on spinner 2, all we need to do is multiply them together and it shows us how many outcomes there are in total. So the answer is going to be 21.